This is not quite the sound that this table saw is supposed to make. Well, it definitely wasn't the blade. Not the motor. Just spinning the arbor on its own. It feels rough and you can even hear it spin. So one of those bearings is worn out. So how to get this part out? I think this whole shebang needs to come out because those bearings are going to be pressed fit in there. But I've discovered there's a set screw back here. So if I crank this down, I might be able to take this set screw out and then maybe take this pin out and bring the whole bracket out of the saw without taking apart everything. The pin moves! I thought I was going to have to take apart the whole saw. Now, yeah, how do I get the rest of this off? Hmm, oh, it is starting to budge a little bit here. Ta-da! Well, this still turns easily, but it does make a bit of noise. And the other bearing, this is probably the one that's gone bad. Except that one turns smooth, so I guess it's this one. Now the problem is getting one of these bearings off is extremely difficult. They're press fit on there. Oh, that bearing is not moving. It's moving! So I bought some uh, new bearings. These didn't cost very much. Now the challenge is how to press these on there without a press and without damaging them. I can just use the old bearings as spacers. I just rigged something up to hold the wrench in the arbor. Oh, something's tight on here. Uh oh, this part here was not supposed to get pressed on there. So this sleeve was starting to hit a shoulder in there, so I couldn't press any further with that. So I made a wooden spacer. And I need another bearing for a spacer. I can't use a bearing down there because otherwise it'll get pressed on the thick part. And that should work for pressing on. Now I just need to press it onto the final sleeve down there. So I think I've got the first bearing fully seated down there.
Now this needs to go in here with this uh, spring washer behind it. I used one of the old bearings to pull against while pressing the shaft and the front bearing back in. But unfortunately I ended up pressing that old bearing into the mount as well. So I had to extract that again. Now to get this old bearing out again, which I accidentally pressed in. Now with that other bearing out, this spacer goes between the two bearings. And then the new bearing on here. And that needs to press onto the shaft. And I'll use an old bearing again to help press it in. And now this ring for retaining the back bearing. And now the spacer here. Now this nut has come loose on me from time to time in the saw. So I should tighten it up real good while I have it out. The next tricky part is to get this thing around this part again and get this spring washer in there at the same time, which is going to be very tight to squeeze in. Okay, having pushed that through, that means my spring washer is centered and unfortunately I can't get this in from the top, so I have to tap that in from below. And it's hard enough to get a good view of what I'm doing myself, let alone get one for this camera. So, you know. so there's a stop for how far up the blade will go, and the way I put it in, I was past this rack and pinion, which means I'm above that stop. And unfortunately I couldn't go past it now. I'm on the wrong side of it, but if I take out the screw, I figure I should be able to back it up and then put the screw back in. That's sounding much better. And I better not forget to tighten that set screw so I don't lose the pin. That's a much better sound.